The Tulsa City County Library wants you to know there's something missing from the bookshelves of the world. It's your story. This year, they're hosting the 38th Annual Adult Creative Writing Contest with cash prizes, certificates for those who take first and second places, and any of these different categories. And we welcome Gretchen Hannafield from the Tulsa City County Library to the studio today as she fills us in on all those details. Thank you so much for being here this morning. Well, thank you for having us. 38 years. You guys have been putting this on for a long time. Now, who exactly is putting this together. It's the Friends of the Tulsa City County Libraries. It's okay. an organization that supports the library through providing extra activities like mm -hmm. book reviews, travel programs, and of course our writing contest that's gone on 38 years. Wow, that's a long time. So you must have gotten a lot of great uh, submissions over the years. Oh, I really enjoy reading them. I don't know how the judges do it. I okay. pick out one first place. That's going to be hard for the judges and a lot of things to go through, a lot of material. Uh, do you get a ton of submissions for every category? We do. In total, we receive 300 to 350 entries for all four. Wow, that's a lot. All right, the four categories, what are they? What can people submit things to? Okay, short story. Okay. Informal essay, and that's kind of like from a personal perspective. Children's fiction, and then poetry. Okay. And we try to even it out and make it more fair for the $6 entry fee that with poetry, you can enter as many poems as you want up to a word limit of 400. Oh. But we only pick one of the poems out okay. as a winner. <laughs> You're not submitting a whole collection right. of poems. Right. And if people want to look more in detail at some of the, the rules and regulations for each of the categories, where can they find that? We have a brochure. If they call the office, I will send it to them. Okay. Or we also have it on the Tulsa City County uh, or the library web page oh, right. under um, the Friends of the Library. Okay, so do you need to have any formal training to apply for this at all? Oh, no. Just, you know, to write your story down. Um, we have books that are available for people to check out if you're interested in nonfiction or poetry, uh, children's stories, and, you know, that might kind of help people. Mm -hmm. How are you weeding out the experts out there who cannot apply for any of these? Well, to enter the contest, you have to be a resident, okay. live in Tulsa County, or go to school in Tulsa County. And if you don't meet those requirements, you can have a non-resident oh. library card Great. to enter okay. and not be a member of the committee. Can you be a professional writer to enter this? Yes. Oh, okay. You just cannot enter a work that has been published oh. before under your name. All right. Good to know for all those people out there. So this could be your first run or it could be something that you do all the time that you're just... That's right, because sometimes we've had people enter several times and not win, and then bingo, mm -hmm. maybe on year six, they, they win. That's wonderful. All right. And so what do the winners receive? Okay. First place gets a $100 check. Second place... A $50 check and a certificate, and then we have certificates for honorable mentions. All right. So we have an award ceremony mm -hmm. in April, and we will have a children's author as our speaker from Bixby. Oh, that's wonderful. And uh -huh. uh, when is the deadline for submitting everything? January 31st. All right. So get to writing. Thank you so much for coming in this morning to tell us all about it. Guys, we've got to give you more information so you can get those award-winning submissions in. It's the 30th annual Adult Creative Writing Contest. It's at Tulsa City County Libraries. As of 918-549-7408, TulsaLibrary.org, for more of those rules and regulations for those submissions.